Welcome to Media Beat on MediaBistro.com. I'm Donya Blaze, Managing Editor, and we're joined today by Constance C.R. White of Essence Magazine. Hello, Donya. Thank you. So, Constance, I want to get right into it, and I know oh, what yes. everyone who's watching wants to know. People have been reading Essence for 40 years now. Yes, 41. 41 to be exact. years. Okay. <laughs> so, how does a writer get a byline in Essence? You read the magazine, study it, see what we do, and then create a great pitch. We love to hear from writers. We love our writers. How, but what makes a great pitch though? Because I'm sure you get a lot of them. Yes, and, we do. And because Essence is for, for black families, it's everywhere. It's in the dentist's office, it's at your mother's yes. house, it's at the beauty shop. Everybody thinks, they, I can write for Essence. I know what would work I, at Essence. Yeah. So what makes a great pitch? The first thing you think about is what are black women thinking about? What's important to black women? And that is really the crux of what we do at Essence. And therefore, if you're pitching us, that's what you should be focused on too as a writer. And it seems like you use a lot of um, big writers, brand name writers, people who have been published in other noteworthy publications. Is that a necessary requirement to get in or can a, new, can a newbie writer get in there too? Oh, absolutely. We are. Essence has been known for breaking, bringing up, nurturing, people who are now, as you said correctly, big name writers. Mm -hmm. Maya Angelou, you know, Terry Macmillan, Alice Walker, a lot of them got their start, had their early careers in Essence, and are now writers that we turn to. At the same time, we want those new, who's the new Alice mm -hmm. Walker, who is the new Maya Angelou. They are in the pages of the magazine as well, and we're looking for them. Okay, and Essence um, is also known for the Essence Music Festival. Oh which, yeah. Which when it comes to having a, another stream of revenue for a magazine, you can't beat the music festival, which does great every year. What do you guys do to, to keep it going and keep it great every year? The Essence Music Festival, I always say, was ahead of its time. At a time when magazines are looking to multi-platform, Essence has had the music festival for 17 years, and this year it was bigger and better than ever. And one of the things that is happening is this year we brought new panelists for our empowerment series and fabulous new acts. Kanye West was a return favorite. We had Jill Scott, Mary J. Mm -hmm. Blige. Every year it really gets bigger and better, and. It, our readers look forward to it, and black women who perhaps are not currently readers look forward to it, and it's become one of the largest live events in the United States. Mm -hmm. And you, I was reading, you're only the eighth editor-in-chief of Essence in the whole history, is that correct? I believe so. So that's, a, that's so. a unique club to be into. Is there anything that passed, EICs passed down to you, or to, to, do you guys have a lunch where you get together and say, here are the secrets? <laughs> and say, here are the secrets. <laughs> like, I'm really honored to be in this position. When I think about the women who have held this post, I just really see that there's so much to draw upon. There's such a foundation. You know, if you're an editor coming into Essence, there's such a foundation to draw upon in terms of people who have led in the past mm -hmm. and what they have laid down, that it's just, it's just an incredible opportunity. Okay, we are talking with Constance C.R. White. She's the editor-in-chief of Essence Magazine. In our next segment, I want to talk more about the big issue coming up, which is the September issue, which is big for all publishers. So stick around, this is Media Beat. 